Hello, chat. We're having some technical difficulties this evening, so just bear with me while I attempt to uh, get everything squared away. For some reason, my hotkeys no longer work. I wonder why that might be. It's very strange. So, I've been trying to get my Xbox controller set up. I just got a new Xbox controller because I've been talking about... Oh, I need an Xbox controller to play these games. My old controller's garbage. It's like... The analog stick is disintegrating before my eyes and thumbs. But here I have this wonderful new Xbox controller, and I'm just, I'm having no luck with it. So if we've got any tech-savvy people in the chat, we can try to troubleshoot that this evening. I realize that sounds like not a fun time. But, you know, it's Tuesday, it's, it's a weird, it's a weird time. So, let's see here. So I've got it hooked up to Bluetooth. Also, the fact that my uh, hotkeys are not working is like super, super bumming me out. That's weird, because I think last night the other stuff wasn't working either. Hang on, let me check this. Oh, okay, that's working. All right, all right. So for some reason, the soundboard is not having it. So we'll just, I mean, I haven't really used the soundboard that much, honestly, so. What if I do this? Nope, that doesn't do anything. Yeah, okay, I guess uh, I'll have to check that out after the stream. I'm not gonna like shut off the capture here. As for the Xbox controller, let's take a look. And actually, you know what? What am I doing? I should have like a window open or something for you guys to look at. Uh, not that one. All right, let's go here. I hope you guys are enjoying Jet Force Gemini again. Like I said, I, I looked that up last night for XCOM, and now I just kind of want to listen to it, because it's awesome. Okay. How to update an Xbox controller. So, I've got the Accessories app. Hold on, let me show you guys what I'm looking at. You can, you can follow along with the troubleshooting. That'll be fun, right? People love troubleshooting. Uh, how to update an Xbox controller. Turn off this. Why, why, why? Okay, there we go. Alright, so here's what, here's what the internet says. Download the Xbox Accessories app from the Microsoft Store. Got it. Once that's downloaded, launch the app. Okay, I've launched the app. Plug in the, what does it say? Plug the Xbox wireless controller into your computer using the USB port located between the L, B, and R, B buttons. You'll need a USB type C cable to do this. Okay, it's plugged in. Oh, also no camera tonight, guys. All right, it is plugged in, but I'm not getting, it says the controller is connected via Bluetooth. How, connect, maybe if I turn off Bluetooth, It'll stop. Remove device. Okay. So we're gonna unplug. And then plug back in. All right, it like, it made a little noise or a little rumble. Hmm. Interesting.
plugged it in. Let me click on help as if that's ever going to do anything for anyone. This music's kind of loud, guys. Hang on. Turn that down a bit. It's already super low. Okay. To ensure compatibility with all controllers, make sure your Windows device is up to date and using the latest version of the Xbox Accessories app. The Xbox Accessories app does not support the Xbox 360 controller or non-Xbox devices. Oh, you don't say. Okay, thanks. Most app features aren't supported via Bluetooth connections. If you're using the app on a Windows device, use the Xbox wireless adapter or a USB cable to connect and configure your accessory. Okay. Press the Xbox button. Okay, now this is on consoles. Uh, I think I have this one. Okay, wow, thanks. That was useless. No, it did not resolve the issue. Screw you, Xbox. Okay. Hmm. Okay. It's plugged in. Okay. It is powered up and connected. What happens if I, like, push the button? Guys, this is so stupid. Hi, Kims. I just wanted to play video games tonight. I didn't realize this was going to turn into, like, some kind of disaster movie. Turn it on. It is on. It's blinking. The Xbox controller, the little light is blinking. That's kind of fun, right? Uh, come on. It's literally not detecting it. What the heck? Um, USB devices. Let's see. Controller. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to I'm going to get up for a second. So, I'll I'll be kind of quiet cuz I'm going to be over by the tower. I'm going to try plugging it into one of the back USB ports and see if that changes anything. I plug it into the back. Nothing is happening. Thanks, Microsoft. So helpful. Okay, let's uh let's try Googling the problem. Okay. So Xbox controller won't connect via USB. Unplug all USB devices connected to your Xbox or PC. Restart your Xbox or PC and try connecting the controller again. No. Oh, we might just have to do something else tonight, chat. For like, at least for a little bit. Um. Okay. Xbox One does not connect to my PC. There is a section about connecting to PC. Most USB to micro USB cables, that's what I have. Oh, if it's not rated for data transfer, then it won't work on PC. Maybe that's the problem. If you want to use wireless, you can either buy a USB Bluetooth dongle or buy the official Xbox One gaming receiver for Windows 10. Wow, I love spending extra money. All right, let me let me move the controller back. My cat would like to let you guys know that he is also unsatisfied with the state of what's going on here. And now he wants to eat some of my dinner that is still on the desk. So uh, so hang on while I wrangle him. All right, buddy, come on. Down on the floor. Let's go. Oh. And there you go. All right, I moved him. Okay. 
Well, this is an interesting state of affairs to find ourselves in. Let's see, let's try the Bluetooth again, I guess. Like, I know this could work, it's just, like, probably going to take some time and troubleshooting that we don't really want to deal with. If that makes sense. Okay, it is, con it says it's connected via Bluetooth. Okay. Powered up and connected. All right, it is it's showing up on the accessories. I can't configure it unless I connect it with a USB cable. So I guess I'll have to scrounge up a USB-C from somewhere that's quote unquote rated for data transfer. Whatever the heck that means. And I think we're going to fire up some... Okay, hang on. Let me, let's try this. I'm going to fire up Rogue Legacy because that's what I have, you know, on Twitch right now. And we're going to try to get that working. And if that doesn't work, then we'll just play some Sporkle for like an hour. And we'll call it an early night. You guys can have some extra time back. Hmm. Okay, so here's the here's the issue I'm experiencing. Whenever I press a button. Oh wait, hang on, something just happened. Well, okay, let me switch to the game real quick. Maybe it's working now? I don't know. Uh Rogue Legacy? There we go. All right. So, I mean, wait, okay. I think it's working now. I didn't change anything. Oh, there's like input lag. Oh, gross. And then it just stops. What the hell? Now it's blinking. Okay. Yeah, this is the problem I was having earlier. So hang on. Let's look. Let's check one more thing here. Box controller keeps. Disconnecting PC. Possibly using the wrong Xbox controller driver or it's out of date. So you should update your Xbox One controller driver to see if it fixes the problem. But you can't do that over Bluetooth. Uh, go to device manager. Go to power. Um, I'm having that problem, but I'm using Bluetooth. Go to human interface devices. Oh, okay. I guess we have to get tricky on the, the controller here. Okay, go to human input interface devices. Bluetooth, LE, change the same settings. Do not allow it to turn it off to save power. Now let's try. Why, game? What? What? What in tarnation is going on here? Okay, so it it lets me work for a second. And then it disconnects. And starts blinking. This is amazing. I wish you guys could see this. It's hilarious. Okay, so the controller is now blinking. And then it lets me move a bit. And it's like really laggy and then it stops and then it starts blinking again fascinating um okay uh ba -ba -ba -ba. instead of bringing in my controller i tried once more to fix it follow the step by step okay if you're on steam make sure you have xbox configuration support enabled I gotta watch a YouTube video? Come on, man. You guys remember when they used to write guides on how to do things? Okay. Uh, if you're on Steam, make sure you have Xbox controller support. All right, we're gonna open this video. I'm gonna immediately mute it. How to use Xbox One controller. Today I'm going to, I'm going to teach you how to use the Xbox One controller on Steam. Okay. 
can oh my this video is two minutes long and the first 30 seconds is like telling me how to or like what it's going to teach me there are some caveats to keep in mind your xbox one controller has to be wired to your computer using a micro usb well for that's the if i could do that i wouldn't have a problem Ay ay ay. Move closer to the PC. Yeah, okay. It's right next to me. Change the batteries. No. Alright. Alright. Um. Reconnect with Windows PC. Go to settings, Bluetooth and devices. Are you guys having fun with this, this technical stuff? This is ridiculous. Locate the Xbox controller in the paired device. Click on the menu and remove it. I already did that. You should notice the guide. Press the pairing button on PC. Okay, that's what I just did. And then it says power cycle the Xbox console. Update the controller firmware. I don't have an Xbox One. So. All right, let's. All right, let's see what happens here. We get, so we get one button press and then it decides no. Wow. Yeah, see it's, you can see in the bottom right, it switches to keyboard controls because the controller is now disconnected. Very strange. Come on. Yeah, the title of the stream is becoming more and more literal, isn't it? Okay. So I was able to press B, and now we're done again. All right, all right. Let's get out of here. So clearly we're not gonna be able to use my new controller, so I guess we'll do some Sporkle quizzes and then we'll call it a night and uh, just write this one off. It's Tuesday, like not that big of a deal, so. Oh, okay, you guys aren't seeing anything right now. There we go. So I'm going to have to hunt down a USB-C uh, at some point. But until then, we're going to do some Sporkle. Whatever. Show me the ads. I don't... Oh, for, no. I don't want to support you. Screw you. I mean, maybe it's, it's probably worth it if I'm going to keep doing it on stream. We'll start with a random quiz. The music stops. Oh, no, it didn't. It's just kind of quiet. You bump it up a bit. The Simpson silhouette. That sounds kind of fun. Don't forget to change the title. Sure. Why not? We can change the title. We'll call it short sporkles. And we'll, we'll change it to just chatting, I suppose. Man, I really wanted to play with this new controller. I'm so mad. Fine, it's not a big deal. All right, here we go. I don't know very many Simpsons characters. Oh, we okay, it's like this. This will actually be easier. More Skinner, Professor Frank. There he is, Homer. This is actually kind of a good idea for a quiz. Thanks, Homer, there he is. Got a donut. Groundskeeper Willie. Uh, there he is. Charles Montgomery. It would be cool if when you clicked it, they changed to the color. All right. Montgomery Burns. There he is. Reverend Lovejoy. Uh, there he is. Milhouse Von Houten. It's actually kind of cool. Like, you're able to tell these people just from their silhouettes. It's, it's actually kind of awesome. Barney. Uh, there he is. He's got the beer. Auto man. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I could tell. Oh, there he is. Lisa. That's Maggie. There's Lisa. Ralph Wiggum. That's Emmykin's favorite Simpsons character. Comic book guy. Is He has a name, doesn't he? Maybe he doesn't. <laughs> Crazy cat lady. Let's see. She had the cats. Itchy. Oh, shoot. Which one's itchy? Which one's scratchy? I think Itchy's the the cat. 
No, Itchy's the mouse. Well, listen. I tried. Edna. Mo is down here. Snake is here. Krusty the Clown. Uh, there he is. Chief Wiggum. There he is. Got a donut. Ned Flanders. Idly ho, neighborino. Rainier Wolf Castle. Sideshow Bob. Selma Bobier. Bumblebee Man. Very popular in Mexico, from what I understand. Apu. Indian name. Wait, hang on. There he is. Lenny. Oh, I don't know which one's Lenny, which one's... I think this one's Lenny. Uh, Marge is here. Kang. Disco Stew. Jimbo. Exadian says itchy as mouse. Mice don't scratch. Well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. And then the cat is scratchy. That's what I get. Thanks for stopping by for this uh, scuff stream. I was trying to set up my ex no, my new Xbox controller and it did not it did not happen. Jimbo, I think that's the kid, right? Waylon Smithers, Grandpa Simpson, Nelson, Carl, Mayor Quimby, Maggie, and Scratchy. All right, I got one wrong because I don't know the difference between Itchy and Scratchy. That's on me. All right, next random quiz, let's go. Can I name the four letter words in this NHL themed ladder? You know what? I'm not a sports guy, but we can try it. San Jose, uh, hose, sharpen, hone. I mean, this is mostly just a word ladder. A bone, a pone, no. Wait, deep sound from a bell? Bab. Bane? Boon? Bean? That's not right. Then Donkey Kong. Okay, so it's a cone? Oh, a bong. Okay. That's probably not the uh, the word I or the description I would have gone with for bong, but sure. Los Angeles hockey team member. I don't know. Uh, ring. Oh, King. Okay, hockey playing surface. Rink? Moranis or Astley? Rick? Mass of rugby players. Uh, I don't know. No, yeah, I, it ended up being bong. Like, what? That's like a joke that I would tell. All right, Anaheim, I don't... M mass of rugby players? Uh, a, a Rick, a Dick, a, a Hick? Anaheim hockey team. Anaheim has a hockey team? What? Uh, are they, the, they're the ticks? No, that, okay, I don't know. Ruck, oh, the, the mighty ducks, oh my god. Well, that's what I get for not remembering my, uh, my hockey teams, not that I knew them in the first place. When it's California hockey specifically. Alright, next one, random quiz, let's go. I thought that was just a movie. I didn't know that was real. Wait, what is this? Can I name these shows that premiered in the last 25 years? Uh, nope. I can't even name the first one. I am not, I'm not a TV guy. Can you complete the biography title with the correct missing word slash number? Uh, we can try. St. Francis of the Seven Seas. The Affair of Poisons, Murder, Infanticide, and Satanism at the Court of Louis the 14th 100 and 10 percent Tony Keedy the official biography uh eight wives oh no that was wrong something lives of black panther eight nope shoot for the moon the space race and extraordinary voyage of apollo 11 the oh how many people did he kill the 12? Nope, that's wrong. One giant leap. The training of the 12. Four of the three musketeers. The southern colonies, first and last of 13. The Brothers Grimm, two lives, one legacy. A brief biography of James Buchanan, blank president of the United States. 
It wasn't 15th, that's Lincoln. Um, Washington Adams, Jefferson Madison, 8. Uh, 8 men out? Jersey Boys. Oh my gosh, I actually know this one. Emmykins made me go, made me see the movie, and we had to go see it on Broadway. And we had to go up to the Twin Cities to see it off Broadway. Well, I actually know that one. Wow. Okay, I still kind of biffed it. All right, five was the five. He only killed five people. Okay. Uh, he had six wives. I thought it was more. Nine lives. Oh, because cats have nine lives. Duh. Wait. Hold on. Was Abraham Lincoln not the 15th president? Am I stupid? Wait a minute. I'm Googling this. Uh, Lincoln. He was the 16th president. What? That's... Okay, that's some real Mandela effect shit right there. I was... I was 100% he was the 15th, but... I guess 16th is pretty close. All right, next random quiz. Let's do this. Can you match the celebrities who were still a couple at the end of 2014? Well, this is going to get hilarious. Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis. Ben Affleck and... Um, uh, um, I don't see her on here, so that's obviously not right. Beyonce and Jay-Z. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Emma Stone, I don't know. I mean, I know who that is, but I don't know. Oh, John Krasinski and... This was a mistake. Why did I click this? Emily Blunt. John Legend and Chrissy Teigen. I don't know who that is. Just I don't know who that is. Keith Urban and... Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Keith Urban, uh, wait a minute. Was he married to Blake Lively? Carrie Mulligan? I, I feel like I was just talking about this. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. I don't know who that is. Mark, don't know who that is. Uh, Nick Kroll. Oh, he's in Big Mouth, right? Penelope Cruz and Tom Cruise. No, that's not right. Wow, the, I... Ryan Reynolds. Oh, wait, I know this one. He was married to Blake Lively. Okay, I have exhausted. Wait, Sean Penn? Okay, yeah, I've exhausted everything. Robert F. Kennedy Jr.? How on earth would I know who he was married to? Is that like a thing people just know? Uh, Okay, Chris Hemsworth? Who would Chris Hemsworth be married to? If I was a Chris Hemsworth... And you could, you have your pick of any woman on earth. Who do you go with? Uh, Ellen DeGeneres, I have no idea. Eva Mendez, Jennifer Aniston, Jennifer Garner. Ah, oh, this is, this is a tough, oh wait, Neil Patrick Harris. All right, I, I give up. Let's see how badly I did. Ben Affleck was married to Jennifer Garner, really? Okay, Cheryl Hines, all right, don't know who that is, don't know, I guess, known for being Neil Patrick Harris's husband, Elsa Pataki, no relation with Helga from A. Arnold, that's who Chris Hemsworth is married to, huh, let's, uh, actually, let's find a picture of her, Elsa Pataki, Elsa Pataki, oh, okay, no, nah, good looking lady, no complaints. Um, you can find pictures of her on your own. Uh, some of these are not safe for work, so we're gonna we're not gonna put them on the stream. But just be aware, she uh, is from Fast and Furious, and she appears to have posed topless at some point. So, Emma Stone. Wait, oh, I didn't even think about that. Andrew Garfield. He l hates Mondays and loves lasagna. Wait, yeah, Elsa Pataki. It's right here. Am I saying that wrong? Jossa would, I don't, I don't know who that is, or I don't know who either of those people are. Justin Thoreau, 
That sounds familiar. Keith Urban was married to Nicole Kidman. Really? Leighton Meester. I don't know who that is. Marcus Mumford was married to Carrie Mulligan. Mia Wasikowska. Uh, Nick Kroll and Amy Peeler. Penelope Cruz and Javier Bardem. Oh, that's fun. Uh, Portia de Rossi. Ryan Gosling and Eva Mendez. And Sean Penn and Charlize Theron. Okay, well, that's just proof that I am not a celebrity guy. Can you name the geographical items which these paired outlines represent? Uh, sure. Uh, that is Wisconsin. Uh-oh. Oh no. I've made a huge mistake, chat. A lake. Uh, that's, um, like Michigan? A country. Okay, that's Afghanistan. I, I know that one anywhere. A state? Oh god, what is that? It's so disgusting. It's gotta be Maryland. It's not Maryland. Uh, California. Alright. That is BC. Country? Is that Haiti? No. Island. Is that Hispaniola? Hey, I got that one. Province? Moro. Moro. Is that Queens? Or... No, that's the Bronx. Hey, oh wow, thanks. Wyoming, Colorado. Alright, so we have an island. We have a country. What the heck? Is that Chad? It's not Chad. That's a funky looking country. Oh, wait, that's South Carolina. Hang on. Carolina. There we go. Lake Michigan, and then that country. That looks familiar. Is that like Laos? Or like Cambodia? No. Myanmar? It looks like a Southeast Asian country, but I mean, it's just a shape. How would I know? And I feel like I should know this other state. So there, okay, so let's let's think about this rationally. Is that Virginia? West Virginia? Hey, it's West Virginia. Nice. Okay, country. El Salvador? No, that's stupid. We already had Hispaniola. Okay, what country is this? And what province is this? What the heck? If it's a province, it's presumably Canadian. I mean, there's only so many. Could be Ontario, it could be Manitoba, Saskatchewan, close enough. Um, Quebec? Nope. Like, just looking at the shape of it, I... I don't know. It's then like, another one squeezed in there. It's, like, British Columbia, Alberta, Manitoba, Saskatchewan. I don't know, like, if this is the right order. And then there's Ontario, Quebec, Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, it's like, Northern Territory, Yukon. I think I'm for, uh, Prince Edward Island. But it's, I don't think it's any of those. So... That island, though, is that... That doesn't look like Oahu, but I'll try it. No. Like, it's just a, it's just a shape. Like, what the, What do you mean, island? That could be anything. You could just make up an island, I wouldn't know. Alright, let's check it out. Lanai. Okay, so that is one of the Hawaiian islands. That's Tanzania in Africa. I was close to Chad. So, oh, that's Sweden. Oh, because it looks like a penis. Oh, it doesn't It doesn't look right without Norway next to it and Finland over here. It's just like kind of weird. Okay, New Brunswick. Oh, that's the one Canadian one. I and that's Kyrgyzstan? I was never going to get that. I'll take 69. I, I wish I could play the sound clip for you guys, but I can't. So, uh, sorry. All right, can you pick the 50 smallest countries by area without picking any outside of the top 50? Um, uh, maybe, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Okay, the 50 smallest. Okay, Fiji, definitely small. Timor-Leste, very tiny. 
Taiwan's kind of big, not actually a country, maybe. We don't know. Let's not get into that. Lesotho. Well, I screwed up. All right. Goodbye. Can you pick the game shows when get? Oh, yes. Okay. At some point, you're going to get messy, whether it's from doing a physical challenge or running the obstacle course. Um, I mean, Legends of the Hidden Temple, but I feel like this is double dare. Contestants work to build up a bank of money round by round, underperform, and you'll be told goodbye. That is weakest link. Your kid, their kids, you're not. Do you know more? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? A talking stone head. That is Legends of the Hidden Temple, my favorite game show of all time. You wouldn't think there'd be enough five letter words in this bingo based game, yet somehow there are. Uh, I, I don't know. Huge. Okay, that's American Gladiators. Don't even have to read the rest of it. You have to conquer two of these title objects to win big. If you do, you could win 10,000, 20,000, or even. A hundred thousand dollars. Uh, Pyramid. Bob Eubanks is bound to ask you about your whoopee making habits. I please do not. Wait, who, Bob Eubanks? Yeah, I don't know who that is. It pays to be a liar for two of you or not if the panel sees through you. That sounds like hard sharks. No, to tell the truth. Want to win $50? Then let celebrities... What, uh... What's my line, I think? TV, TV, and more TV. Just try to avoid going off the air. Remote control. Your base is a nine. Is the next one higher or lower? Your base is a nine. Uh, okay. If you're ever in New York City, hopefully... Okay, that's cash cab. Does your briefcase... Okay, that's deal or no deal. Based on the popular computer game, contestants have to figure out the look. Okay, that's where in the world's coming, San Diego. You have to find hidden objects in a house, but what house has a sewer in it? I guess finders keepers. I don't know. That sounds kind of fun. You wouldn't think there'd be enough five letter words in this. Okay, lingo. Bob Eubanks. Okay, that must be newlywed. And your base is a nine. I don't know what that means. 100%. Never seen. I've seen American Gladiators. I've seen Double Dare. In Legends of the Hidden Temple and I guess I'm familiar with like the other ones at least somewhat all right next quiz can you name the TV show from the side character um I feel like with these ones typically if I can't even name the first one I don't even bother so we're gonna skip that one all right. Can you sort these literary characters from the book series in the repeated pattern of the Chronicles of Narnia, Lord of the Rings, Dune, Lord of the Rings? So it goes Narnia, Lord of the Rings, Dune, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, we can do that. It's Chronicles of Narnia. Okay. Okay. Chronicles of Narnia, Aslan. Oh, wait. Chronicles of Narnia, Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's Bilbo. Dune. Uh... I mean, I'm pretty sure that's Doom, but I just want to get the ones that I know for sure. Lord of the Rings, that's going to be... I guess we'll go with Aragorn. Then Chronicles of Narnia again, Caspian. Lord of the Rings, Arwen. Dune. Leot Kynes. Lord of the Rings, Isildur. Okay, and then Chronicles of Narnia again. Uh, let's see... Faramir sounds King Moret Lucy, okay, that's for sure. Narnia, Lord of the Rings, Celeborn, Dune, Chani, and then Lord of the Rings again. Go with Faramir. Okay, Chronicles of Narnia. Holly Plummer. You can tell because it's just like a regular name. It's Chronicles of Narnia. Lord of the Rings, Galadriel, Dune. Uh, Thufir Hawit. That's, uh, the Mentat of House Atreides. And then Lord of the Rings again. Oh, geez, this is fast. Uh, Chronicles of Narnia, Reap a Cheap, uh, Gimli, uh, do, okay. I didn't realize it was only, I mean, I got 50%, that beats the average, but holy moly, that was fast. Should have looked at the time. I guess they kind of just expect, it's called a blitz, so... 
they probably expect you to go fast. Can you pick the country that can be inserted into each gap to spell a word? Um. Yeah, uh, Pi. Piomank? Pi. Pi. What? Really? Pi cubic? Pi chinic? Okay, no, I don't know that one. Um. Piran Piranha. Or. Malady. Va. Vap. Vaparud? Va. Togod? Va. Cubad? Va Vagabond? In. Incubator? Sperma. Really? We're going with that? Sperma. Perumium. Oh, we're gonna skip that one. Hey, Beta Rock. Welcome to the scuffed stream night. Couldn't get the controller working, so we're doing some sporkle for a bit just to kill some time. Ma. Uh, map. Ma. Ma. Okay. Maybe I need. Machin machinate. Okay, that is a word. Per. Togosol. Omansol. Chadsol. Romanian. With perusal? Oh, perusal. Neba could Uh. Romance. Hi, Romaniac. Sperma. To Sperma. Togonium? What? That's made up. I don't know what that is. I don't want to look it up. Okay. Can you pick the band members that match these 90s girl bands and boy bands? Spice Girls. All right. Well. They're not named Spice, so I have no idea. Next. NSYNC. Okay. Um, uh, nope, that's not, it's not AJ. This I'm going to get crucified over this. Uh, JC. Yes. Uh, oh, wait. I know. I know. Spice Girl. Jerry. Um, Howie. Nope. I know Howie. Hang on. Destiny's Child. We'll do that one. Okay, we'll do Beyonce. That's the only one I know. Backstreet Boys. Okay, I can do this. Um... Wait, no, let's do, um, I, no, TLC, I don't know. Boys to, don't know. New Kids on the Block. Okay, I can do this one. There's Donnie. Jonathan Knight. Jordan Knight. Um. Uh, Danny. Oh, no. It's not Howie. It's not Joey. Wait, no, okay, one of them is Joey McIntyre. Aha, we got it, okay. Okay. Ooh, this is a fun little thing going on here. Okay, so Justin Timberlake was in NSYNC. Lance Bass. Oh, shoot. Was Lance Bass in sync? He was. Okay. Good. Uh, I, Oh, wait. Left Eye Lopez was TLC. Got it. Okay. We're getting there, guys. We'll, we'll get it. Okay, AJ, I think, is Backstreet Boys. Because I remember there was a song. It was like... Which Backstreet Boy is gay and we're like ain't saying that it's AJ ain't saying that it's uh, Howie. I, did we already do Howie? Howie. Yes. Ha ha. Uh, Nick Carter was in sync, right? Nope. I okay. I bungled it. Sorry, guys. Okay, let's try this one. Tion Watkins. TLC. Is there a C? Yeah, well, it's obviously not Melanie. Nope. Okay. Uh, Brian, literal, I don't rec recognize that, so it must be boys to men. Nope, I'm wrong. Okay. Uh, Chris Kirkpatrick. Boys to men. Um, Michelle Williams. Who the heck was in boys to men? Kevin? Spice Girls. Okay, let's try this again. Who is in either NSYNC or... Wait, Nick Carter? Yeah, well, Nick Carter is someone's older brother, because then there's Aaron Carter, right? And Aaron Carter, like, had a... had, like, a thing? No, Nick Carter's in freaking Backstreet Boys. I already tried that. Rosanda Thomas. Okay, so these guys are gonna have, like... Melanie Brown, that sounds like a Spice Girl name. Melanie? Okay. We're looking for, like, British names. Victoria... Michelle. Kel no, Kelly. Nope, wrong. Kelly. Uh, 
Wanya more. No, nope, wrong. Wait, Nathan. <gasps> no, wait. Hang on. These guys are like brothers or something. Okay, Joey. No, wrong. Uh, Chris. No, also. Oh my god. Okay, I got 70%. That's really bad. To be fair, I don't know any of these people. I guess Joey I should have got. All right, next one. Kelly Roland is TLC. Well, n thanks for telling me now. Uh, can you name the 100 most influential figures in American history according to The Atlantic 2006? Nope. Not even gonna try that one. That looks like a disaster waiting to happen. Can you click the correct flag where the given color at the top has been replaced by gray within the time limit? Sure, why not? Uh, what? What? Th this isn't a... Th okay, here we go. Uh, oh, okay, that's that's that one. No, that's not that one? Okay, fair enough. Uh, orange. Dirt, no, blue. That, no. Okay, this is stupid. Black. This one? Wow. Come on, game. Okay, I give up. We're leaving. A six letter word is depicted by the images in each pictogram. Can you decipher them all? Okay. Uh, uh, wait. Carrot minus car. So rot plus 10. Rotten. X plus seed. X seed? Uh, ape plus rons, aprons. This is so stupid. Dragon. Tire minus ring. Oh, tire ring. Okay. Tire plus ring. Uh, pig tie. Uh, pig tie? Uh, what? Pig plus tie? Pig sty. No. What? All right. Next one. S S S escape. Po P. Pose po Posty? Hey, that's right, okay. Uh high five minus five hiking hiking. Up slingshot minus sling. Upshot. Steak plus donkey. Oh. What? Steak donk meat donkey? Okay, B plus tray. Okay, I don't know. Uh, knee plus handle minus pawn. Needle. <laughs> wow, that's, that's so dumb. Okay, this is um, arm pit, armpit. Okay, well, that was too bad. So, B tray. Oh, B tray. That's okay. Beetle rocks. Genius. Get some geniuses in the chat tonight. This is great. All right. House minus taxi plus juror cabin minus cab. Okay. So cabin in injure injury. Okay. Less than done. Lesson, I guess. All right, the pig one and the donkey one. Hog tie. Oh, it's a hog. Oh my god, that's so. I, I mean, I it works, right? B four. And uh, gamer elliptical coming in with the with the hot tips. All right, now we got steak donkey. It's either, I mean, that could be anything. It could be a steak. It could be like pork. And, oh, Eeyore. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Meteor. I kept calling him Donkey. And I was, no, his name's Eeyore. What's wrong with me? All the other ones have names. Well, I guess Winnie the Pooh. But like Rabbit and, and Piglet and Kanga and Roo. Okay, we got it. Thank you, Gamer Elliptical, for coming in with the, the hot, smart stuff. Can you click the category into which the first two terms fit, but not the third, or the third does not? Bag, burn, char. Uh, letters that start with a B? Bag. Words associated with gosling. Uh, desserts. Birds. Fish. 
not fish because char is a fish uh money locations in a bank robbery no money pipe play it shoe related terms term okay let's let's go to the next one burn char soul so this is not fish this is uh well this is just a disaster what's wrong with me ways to blacken food yes Char, soul, cobbler. Those are fish. Soul, cobbler, not cherry pie. Steak. I, I actually just had steak for dinner. I still got some sitting on my plate. I got to eat it at some point. Shoe related terms. Cobbler, cherry pie. These are desserts. And so fun story. On my way home from work, there were a bunch of like cops and ambulances driving past me because I walk, you know. And when I was almost home, there was this huge, well, I, like, I want to say huge accident. I live in a small town. Any accident's pretty big. But there was a car on its side in somebody's front yard. And there were, like, three cop cars. There was an ambulance. There were a bunch of people standing around. A cherry pie and search. It was clear that GOP VP candidate. Um, terms not, no. Nope, 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 nope. It's gotta be Janet Jackson. Nope. Search, poach, fry. Okay. But anyway, so I just thought that was an interesting thing that there was a something actually happened in this small town I live in. Search, poach. Uh, that is a ways to hunt. Poach, fry, ways to cook an egg. Fry, nymph, those are young ectothermic animals nymph rhea those are females in greek mythology rhea goose not ryan uh so it's not words associated with gosling because that would be ryan gosling birds goose uh okay that's gonna be ryan palin idol so not monty python it's gotta be i mean there's only one palin i know okay that's gonna be monty python idol while term surpassing time while if again i believe those are going to be conjunctions if again save play it nope okay uh warrant okay this is not money locations play it a like, play it if is not a thing i don't see how this would be associated with a warrant uh ways to dispose of uh, it's got to be janet jackson again safe play it again play it safe safe bag put the money in the bag take the money from the safe put it in the bag bag burn and then terms associated with a warrant oh cherry pie of course because they sang the song cherry pie and search warrant wow that that quiz got me good Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Can you pick the things Meatloaf actually would do for love? Yes, I know this one. He would never... Um... Uh, he won't do that. Oh no, things that he would do. I would do anything. He would... I mean, he would do anything but that. So he would take a shot put to the head. He would punch Steinman. He would offer his hunger. He would run into hell and back. He would change his name. He would... Uh, let's see. He would treasure your love. He would eat meatloaf. He'd get his money back. He'd actually read a rearview mirror. He'd kill a boy. He would dance through the night. He would... Wow, this is easy. He'd sing hot patootie. He would consider subtlety. He'd join the Mile High Club. This is easy. Oh, he... Oh, he, he would do anything but that. I'm so stupid. What is wrong with me? I was just on autopilot. Yeah, the only things he would not do, if you actually listen to the song, uh, one of the things, he'd never forget the way he feels right now. Oh no, no way. Can you use the clues to correctly place the numbers one to 25? Uh, uh, more info, please? Where's more info? That's not a thing. Don't, okay, more info. All numbers 1 through 25 appear exactly once in this number grid. Use the clues to place the numbers in the grid. 
The puzzle requires logic, deduction, knowledge of basic math terminology, and probably a piece of scrap paper. That's not happening. Okay, can you name the sport team given a close-up of their logo? No, we're not sports chads here. And that was Vulcan Rider with the uh, the Schoolhouse Rock. I didn't even notice. Hello, Vulcan Rider. I hope you're having a great night. I hope everybody's having a great night. My night has been kind of obnoxious with this new controller, but... Can I name the European football clubs by the silhouette of their crest? The answer is absolutely not. Can you name the unscrambled countries along with the scrambled bonus country? Uh, sure, why not? All right, Oman. Uh, what the heck? Man, I suck at these. Why did I, why did I agree to do this? Ethiopia. I guess at least I know most of the countries. Uh, Uzbekistan. Um, Iceland. Like, cause unlike like a regular word scramble, at least the word pool is limited. Uh, okay. Don't know that one. Bolivia, I guess. Guess I do know that one. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Uh, what? Uh, that's Qatar. Okay, I'm like, I know that those letters go together in a way in an Arabic country. I couldn't think of it. And, uh, okay. I am. Uh, Madagascar. Mad that is a country. Madagascar. And then... Okay, it's got a J and a Z. There's only, like, two countries that would possibly match that. I just have to remember what they are. Is... Okay, I'm gonna go with, like, it's... Rhea at the end. So if we move everything to the left, besides the R-I-A... Zanzibar. No. No, that's, there's a J in there. What do you mean Zan Zanzibar is a city. Okay, I got nothing. Um, If anybody knows the, the JB and Zaria, let me know. And, uh... Hey, Ice King's here. Hello, Ice King. Uh, me and Ice King have been talking. We might be doing something this weekend. Since we, we missed out on the last one that we got, we didn't get to do. Hopefully we'll find something fun. Okay, I sh there's two A's. I see Siam and it's just throwing me off. M Malaysia. Okay. I just, same part of the world at least. Okay. So let's see if we can figure out, we, without the second country, if we can get the bonus one. It's got a Z, a Q... Oh, that's unfortunate. It's got a, a Q U. Okay, so, so it's got to start with Q, or it's got to have a Q U in there. Uh, Mozambique is the answer, which means so we got M O Z. So this starts with an A. Um, Azerbaijan. Oh shoot. Azerbaijan. Hey, we got it. 100%. I know my countries. I know how to do this. Okay. Can you name the four-letter words in this word ladder about some common phrases that include the word great? Yes. Great. Great lake. Well, I'm dead. Division of a highway. Lane. Scooby-Doo or Marmaduke. Great Dane. August 28th. A date. Opening for offense, a gate. 19th century conflict between the great, wait, between UK and Russia, the great game. The song remains the same. Discount, sale, healthy and robust, hail and hearty. Main room of a large palace or manor, great hall. Great wall. Place for a wish, a well. Ringing percussion instrument, a bell. Item who holds up one pants. Belt. Policemen's patrol territory. That is... Oh, shoot. Uh, I, I don't know. Alternate name for Ursa Major. Great Bear. Beat. A beat cop. All right. One cycle of the equinox around the ecliptic. Great. 
year. There we go. Arctic, archaic term for a sheep giving birth. Yeah, sure, no problem. Let me just do that. Uh, Sean. Symbol used by Yeen, I guess. Never heard of it. It's archaic. Yes, it says that. Symbol used by governments for formal papers. A great uh, seal. And authentic, genuine in existence. Real. Spool for film or fishing lines. A real. Coral system, great barrier. Reef. Not beef. Although I could go for some great beef. Oh, wait, the beef is next. Nice. Main ingredient in a borscht is beet. Ernie Sesame Street roommate is Bert. Homer and Marge's eldest is Bart. Sorry, Bort. Toot past gas. Bart. Cost, fair. Major conflagration. Great fire. No, not guy or fire. There we go. 30 out of 30. Easy peasy. Can you name the girls' names to complete the movie titles? Sure, we'll give it a go. One with Dick and Jane. Mary Sue got... Oh, wait. Uh, Peggy Sue got married. When Harry met Sally. Doing time for... 1997. I feel like I should know that one. Something Luck Club. Joy. Someone's Ashes. Sons of the Something Elder. How Stella. A Christmas... Christmas Carol? Blank. Uh, Dave's Not Here Man. Goodbye Raggedy Ann. And uh, Rose... Rose Mary's Baby. Katie Elder. Oh, fun. Okay, so doing time for something Klein. That sounds like, like Betty or something or like Patty. Okay, I guess not. Someone's ashes, and it blank doesn't live here anymore. Well, no, we're just gonna we're gonna skip that one. All right, so Patsy. Oh, I was close. Patsy Klein. Isn't that like a real person? Angela's ashes, and Alice doesn't live here anymore. Beat the average. That's all you can ask for. Uh, we're not doing this one. Can you name the countries by political war photos from the 1930s? Um, no. Can you name the four letter words in this ladder featuring a doleful US activity? Sure, why not? Jury? Nick? Well, Fury. Okay, I'm like... I'm already done, but to roll up is to curl. Weightlifting exercise is a curl. To relieve a medical ailment is to cure. Center of an object is the core. Uh, I have no idea about this one. A long-standing unsolved murder is called a cold case. So this must be coal. Fungus that can grow on American bread. Or, you know, anyone's bread, I'm sure. Mold. Emotional disposition is mood. Helen Mirren gangster film, The Long Something Friday. Okay. Good Friday? Oh, okay. Someone who is playfully awkward around others. Uh, goof? Sport consisting of clubs, flags, and teeth. That's a gulf. A massive chasm or body of water is a gulf. Back talk or sass. Don't give me any of that. Guff. Homer Simpson's choice beer brand is stuff. French neo-impressionist Raoul. Raoul. I have no idea. A commitment to uphold specific obligations is... Uh, this literally only has a one thing associated with the subject of the quiz. That's kind of pointless. Uh... Commitment to uphold specific obligations. I have no idea what the heck. All right, we'll give it up. Doofy duty. Oh, okay, all right. Jury duty. Oh, I didn't know what doleful meant. That's what I get for not knowing. I, oh, Raul, oh, he's French. That's why I didn't, that's not a real name. Can you name the thing shown here covered in chocolate? Ah, yes. Welcome to America. That's a strawberry. Next, please. That is a pretzel. Oh, that's not. I want a chocolate covered pretzel. That is a cherry. This is a banana. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. That's my shit. That's my shit. This is an Oreo. 
This is a marshmallow? Peeps. Okay, it's the bunny peeps. That is, oh, that's awful. What the heck? Chocolate covered broccoli? That's a orange or a mandarin, I guess. Clementines, whatever, they're all the same. Oh, chocolate covered scorpion. Mmm. Mexican delicacy. That is a chocolate covered onion chat. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're not gonna talk about it. Is that a chocolate covered corn dog? Oh. That is a chocolate covered jalapeno pepper. Jalapeno. Okay, pepper, whatever. That is a chocolate covered starfish? Uh. Octopus? Squid, okay. That is a potato chip. Man. Chocolate covered raisin, probably? I do, I do love me some of those, uh... Oh, Raisinets. I, that was my, like, go-to theater food. Those are almonds. Did I ever tell you guys about my grandparents' uh, almond orchard? It's a gummy bear. This is... What the heck? What is this? It's, like, huge. Chocolate-covered bread loaf? I don't know. Okay, this is a chocolate-covered fortune cookie. Sure, why not? Uh, chocolate-covered Cheeto. All right, this is just disgusting. Okay, it's chocolate. Oh, come on. Licorice. So that, I guess that makes sense. They're both candy. Uh, Twinkie. Okay, yeah, Twinkie. Chocolate-covered bacon. Okay, I've heard that just better than it sounds. I have no idea. Does anybody know what this thing is? Like, it's not a corn dog. We already had corn dog. So, it's gotta be something. Chocolate covered. Bread? Chocolate covered donut? Alright, we'll just. We'll, we'll check it out here. Chocolate covered pickle? Ugh. Come on, man. All right, can you name the little three-letter words that make up one really big word? Okay, we're just doing, like, anti-disestablishmentarianism again. We're not doing that one. That's lame. Can you choose the word meaning saint that fills the missing word of each world city? Sure, why not? Uh, Saint-Denis? Saint Reunion? I'm gonna go with that one. Saint John's, yep. San Jose? San Carlos City? San Francisco, Santa Rosa, Saint Paul. This is gonna be too easy. Uh, Santa Marta, because it's if it's a if it's a female saint, it's Santa. If it's a male saint, it's San, and then Saint is just English or French. Santa Rita, Santa Cruz, San Bernardo, Santa Clara, San Antonio. This is too easy. Saint Helens, it's English. St. Petersburg, Russian. San Cristobal. St. Etienne. That's, I mean, that's more of a, like, language quiz than it is anything else. Like, I didn't know any of those places. I knew a couple of those places, but I didn't know most of them. Okay, another word ladder. And this is a... Mario Princess. Okay, we can, this is video game themed. Uh, that is Peach. And I guess we're going for Daisy. Result of a treaty, a peace. Peas, uh, peas porridge hot? Make fun of peas short in speech. Uh, terse. Uh, Terre Hot, Indiana. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think it's Terre Hot. French. Cruise of Brooklyn Nine Nine. Uh, Harry Cruise? Okay, I gotcha. Tasty fruit from a bush or shrub is a berry. Singer Manila, that's a berry. Rolling Spotter, that's a hairy. Pursuit, hairy, like me. Milk's food group is a dairy. And okay, that's too easy. These word ladders are kind of easy. H long O U. What? Are you telling me how to say Terra Hot? 
Hoot? Terra Hoot? All right, I'll, I'll, we'll figure it out. Can you name the movie by the line of trivia from I? No, we're not doing movies. I'll get destroyed. Can you name? No, we're not, no more word ladders. Can you name the lyrics? To, no, I cannot. I mean, I can name a lot of them. Woke up this morning because my girl left me and then the screen door something something. Three names come from the same president's full name and the fourth from a different one. No. Can you do the first? The books of the Bible by their first three letters. Uh, we can try. I'm not like an expert or anything. Oh, wait. Genesis, Exodus, Numbers. I guess we're not going in order, huh? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, um, Corinthians, uh, Leviticus. Uh, I guess we'll knock out the easy ones. I mean, I just did that. Psalms. Revelations, Kings, um, hmm. All right, guys, don't crucify me for this one. We're, uh, I'm, I'm running up against the limits of my Bible knowledge. Okay, so New Testament, we got the, we got the, the Gospels. There's got to be more, though. I mean, obviously there's more. There's, we've got 17 of them. Okay, uh, Genesis, Exodus. Great. This is me now, chat. This is me not knowing, knowing the books of the Bible. Acts, thank you. Vulcan's gonna know it. He's old. Um, well, I don't want to sit here and just get all the answers from chat. Let, let me, like, briefly think if I can think of any more without cheating. And we'll see if I can come up with anything. If anything jumps out at me. Nope. Okay, what do we got? Lamentations. Oh, none. What is best? Ecclesiastes, Ephesians, Esther, Ezekiel, Ezra. All right, I wasn't going to get these. First Chronicles. Oh, my gosh. There's so many books. Zechariah and Zephaniah. Some of these are made up, right? These aren't all in the Bible. I guess it depends on what Bible you're looking at. I never heard of Titus or Zephaniah. I guess Romans I probably could have got. Proverbs is a good one. Okay. On to the next one. Can you name any U.S. state that fits each of the five categories in just 15 seconds? Yeah. Minnesota. Um, has one seat in the House of Representatives. That would be Wyoming. Remember uh, New York, Montana, Texas? We did it, yay! I win! I guess, yeah, Mon I don't know how big 4,000 square kilometers, 400,000 square kilometers would be. That's, that's the problem I have with metric, right? Like 400,000 square kilometers, like wouldn't that be four square, like mega meters or something? I, that's, I can't visualize that. Can you name the countries each of these groups of people they're from? Um, maybe? Is this Australia? Yay! Is this, uh, the UK? Is this, uh, France? No, Va Van Gogh. Denmark? Where the heck's Van Gogh from? Uh, 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 Netherlands? Hey, there we go. Okay, this is Germany. That's Angela Merkel. I know that one. This is Canada. Got Alanis Morissette. Give dead giveaway and a hockey player. Uh, oh, hello. I don't know any of these people. Is this the, it's not the US. All right, France. Who are these people? Denmark? They don't look Italian. Russia? Spain? No. We can try Spain, I guess. Um. Hmm. Uh. Alright, we'll, we'll skip this one. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Is this the US? America? No. Who the heck are these people? Alright, next. 
Okay, now they're just making fun of me. Okay, that's Austria. We got Arnold Schwarzenegger on there. Uh, this is China. Easy. Uh, this is Mexico. We got Frida Kahlo, you can tell, because of the unibrow. This is India. This is Egypt. E Egypt, please, no N. Ooh. Where is this? Where is this? Who are these people? Is this South Africa? Nope. America? US? No? Okay, don't know. Next. Uh, oh. That's Russia. Yeah, Ivan the Terrible, he's on there. Okay, this is Cuba? No. No, what, what am I doing? Argentina. We got the Pope on there. Che Guevara's from Argentina, I didn't know that. Okay. 12 out of 16. Do we take the 75% on this one or do we do we try to get it? This guy looks super familiar. Wait, and that's is that Thomas Edison? Hang on, this is the US. United States. Yeah, I'm like they're they're American. What are we doing? Okay, this guy is a big nose. So I'm gonna say where are people with big noses from? Hungary? No. That's not nice. Uh, Poland. I, okay, I don't know. Here we go. Give up. All right. That, okay, that was France. And then this was Sweden. I wasn't going to get that. Bjorn Borg, Great at Garbo, and Alfred Nobel. Oh, Alfred Nobel. Mm, I maybe could have got that. And what is this one? Or is it Brazil? Really? Okay. That's That makes a little bit of sense. All right, I'll take eight. Oh, man, I didn't beat the average. Bummer. Poland. There there was no Poland on there. Okay. Can you name each country and its correct combination of letters from each column? Example answer. Italy. B H K S W. I'm not no, I'm not doing that. It's complicated. Can you name the companies represented by the following nail art? Crayola. Uh Mick do not Okay, first of all, chat, if you're if you're doing your nails, do not do this. Uh, this is Gucci? No? I thought the double C. Whatever. Okay, this is... I, I... Okay, now I don't know. This is Facebook? Do not do this. This... Oh, Taco Bell. Do this one, though. You can definitely do Taco Bell. KFC. It's a colonel. Have you guys played the, uh, the KFC dating game where you get to date Colonel Sanders? Playboy. This... Uh, ooh. I... I don't know. Uh, the, Oh, wait. Okay, this is Guinness. Gin... Gin... Guinness? Guinness? Is that not Guinness, chat? Am I... Am I stupid? Gin... Gin... How the heck do you spell... Okay, whatever. We'll come back to that one. Okay, this is, uh, PlayStation? Or Sony, or whatever? It's Starbucks? actually kind of cool looking Guinness okay two N's two S's thank you the guy got it is this like Pujo or something no that's not right is it Subaru wait hang on hey it was Subaru nice okay this is um Skechers get get Skechers Skech, Skech. okay must stop yet uh this is uh, Audi Get the rings. My mom had an Audi when we lived in Germany. Apple. Okay, this one. I thought it was Gucci because of the double C. Is it Dolce and Gabbana? That's not how you spell that at all. I don't know. This one was. I'm just thinking Kingdom Hearts, but I don't. I don't believe that's correct. This is something with blue. This is Guinness, two N's, two S's. And this one, like I want to say Skechers, but we'll just give up. What does it say? Converse. Yeah, I was I was way off anyway. This is Adidas or Adidas, depending on Louis Vuitton and Chanel. Oh, Coco Chanel. I'm over here saying Gucci like, oh, hey, how about the C's? The two C's, Coco Chanel. All right. All right, we, we take those. Can you pick the titles of these non-fiction sports books 
when given their subtitles. Nope. Nope. Can you name the words to the first verses of these Oscar winning Disney songs? Do you guys really want to see me type out the lyrics to songs? No. Can you? Nope. Okay, these are just. Can you name the US city in each song title when given the opening lyrics? Yes. Some folks like to get away, take a holiday from the neighborhood, hop a flight to Miami Beach or to Hollywood. Can you name the US city in each song title when given the opening lyrics, the artist, and the city's location? On a map? Uh, I guess... Uh, New York? I'm going to blank blank. Uh, that is Kansas City. Take the last train to Memphis? Memphis? No? Hang on, what, where is that? Take the last train to something and I'll meet you at the station. You can be there by 430 because I've made your reservation. Uh, I don't know. Let's get that one. But on my blue suite. Okay, that's Memphis. That's walking to Memphis. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, South Beach. Can you? Okay, that's Miami. Please come to Boston. I hear the train a coming. Coming, rolling down the tracks. Is this Sacramento? I mean, that's. Ah, uh, no, that's more north of Sacramento, isn't it? That's gonna, that's gonna destroy me. California is huge. Well, she comes from Tallahassee. I don't know how to spell tell. I don't know how to spell our, our city's chat. There we go. If you're going to San Francisco, San Francisco. Okay, what is this music we're listening to now? I don't want to like. It's still Jet Force Gemini. Good, 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 good. I want to make sure we're not getting copyright stuff on here during the stream. Bright light city gonna set my soul on fire. That's Las Vegas. I feel uptight on a Saturday night. Nine o'clock. The radio's the old Detroit Rock City. Oh yeah. Riding on the city of blank Illinois. Okay. Well, this is clearly not Illinois. Um, that's, I mean, that's gotta be New Orleans, right? I don't. How many other cities are there in Louisiana? I am a lineman for the county, and I drive the main road, searching in the sun for another overload. Is that Omaha? No, Nebraska's north of that. Where, where is this? This is Kansas City. What the heck? Cities are in Casper. Or uh, Kansas. Casper is Wyoming. All right, next. Do you know the way to San Jose? We don't smoke marijuana in blank. We don't take our trips on LSD. Merle Haggard. Oklahoma City? That's not right. Um, what else is in Oklahoma? What other cities are in Oklahoma chat? I don't know any. The little old lady from, that is uh, Los Angeles. Unless they're gonna like make me, oh no. They're going to make me name a specific part that's like, I don't know. The little old lady from blank has a pretty little flower bed of white gardenias. So that's got to be like Ventura, Ventura. I don't know. I don't know every single city in Los Angeles County. Are you kidding? I was bruised and battered. I couldn't tell what I felt. I was unrecognizable to myself. This is in uh, appears to be, I mean, that, that is covering a lot of ground there. I have no idea. Daddy was a cop on the east side of, yeah, the east side of Chicago, also known as Lake Michigan. Dearest darlin, I had to write to say I won't be home anymore. Is this Oklahoma City? Well, don't tell me Oklahoma is not a word. I know it's not a, technically a word. Out in the west town of El Paso. Cats play clean as county water. Cats play wild as Mountain Dew. Ah, uh, what's in Tennessee? I don't know. Well, we're living here in blank and they're closing all the factories down. Uh, uh, Bethlehem? Or maybe Allentown? Allentown? They're all right in that same area. 
By the time I get to blank, she'll be rising. She'll find the note I left hanging on her door. So this is, I mean, that could be Phoenix. Yep. Okay. You can take all the tea in China and put it in a big brown bag for me. Thank you. Um, which one, is that? Is that Alabama? Arkansas? Maybe? No. Arkansas is landlocked. This has got to be. How do I not know my states chat? This is embarrassing. Okay. I'm just, okay. Texas, Louisiana. Question mark. Question mark. Oh, Mississippi. Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia. Okay. That doesn't help me at all. Um, I don't know any cities in Mississippi. Take the last train to some place. All right, let's give it up here. Wow, I missed a lot. Folsom Prison Blues. Pasadena. See, yeah. How like, hello. Los Angeles is huge. What do you want me to guess? Anaheim? Wichita? Oh, yeah, that is uh, Clarksville, Nashville. Okay, yeah, we got Nashville. 24 hours from Tulsa, Oki from Muskogee, Tupelo Honey, and Streets of... Oh, I could have done Philadelphia. That didn't look right, though. It's, like, so close to the coast there. Philadelphia's... Whatever, it's, it's too big. The little marker is too big. I'm going to blame the marker. Can you choose the language described by each poem? What am I saying if I say Guten Morgen to you at breakfast? It's German. Vatican locals, lawyers, and taxonomists may admire its roots. That's Latin. A smile and a wave. Buono sera, amico. Come have some noci. Italian. Of this tongue, I asked how many native speakers? 900 million. Okay, that's not Mandarin or Hindi. It's not Spanish. It's got to be Mandarin. What? What the, ah, whatever. And now I quote sticks. Yes, domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. Japanese. The official speech for residents of Tehran. It reads right to left. That is Persian. Or Farsi. Uh, this is my country. If I count to five, saying en, to, tre, fir, fem. Uh. I, I honestly don't know. I mean, it sounds... Like a Roman, that's gotta be Welsh. No, it's Danish. Close enough. Si puedes leer en este idioma, esto es fácil. Okay, that's Spanish. Hangul characters transcribed in syllabic blocks create this language. That's Korean. Ik ben in forel. It's a very important, it means I'm a trout. That's Dutch. You can tell because it sounds kind of like a funny man speaking English. I present to you for Indian language, which is most spoken? You guys, Hindi. Okay, Jag Skreg Digen Dikt means I wrote you a poem in one of these tongues. Swedish. From this we borrow algebra, coffee, cotton, zenith, and nadir. That is Arabic. The one that I actually know. Camera aloft, I then requested say cheese. Uh, we're going to Vietnam for this one. One of these alone is counted among the six UN languages. Russian? German, Portuguese, we're gonna go with German. It's Russian, oof. Lost, need directions, Mkowapi, Nairobi, okay. Ooh, we're gonna go with Swahili. Three of your choices use Cyrillic alphabets, but which one does not? Polish. Yes, okay. Okay, hang on, this is new music, we're gonna, we're gonna, no, this is, this is still Jeff Forrest Gemini. I don't know. This must be whatever. Its harsh tones echo through the halls of Comic Con. Spoon from Trekkie Mouth. That is Klingon. Not too bad. I like this. Like a dance party. Can you name the countries of Asia by their names in phonetic alphabet form? Sure. We could try that one. This is Tajikistan. Pakistan. Qatar. I mean, this is more of your about your knowledge of um, the phonetic speaking than anything else. Sri Lanka, uh, Jordan. No, what is this? I don't know. I don't know some of these. Um, Afghanistan, India, Indonesia. 
Nepal, Taiwan, Turkmenistan, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, uh, Yemen, Bahrain, Vietnam, which is actually pretty close to spelled how it sounds. Myanmar. Oh, this is a long one. United Arab Emirates. Emirates. Oh, what the heck? Uh, China. China. Azerbaijan. Uh, uh, I don't know. Armenia. Armenia. Uh, so South Korea. Philippines. It, is it? It's Philippines like that. Okay. Singapore. Uh, Kyrgyzstan. 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 Kyrgyz. Come on, man. Kyrgyzstan. There we go. Brunei. Thailand, Iran, um, North Korea, Timor, this, this country keeps coming up. I think it's new. Uh, I had never heard of it until I started doing these quizzes. So I'm pretty sure they added it since Iraq, uh, Mongolia, since I started, I don't know, since after I graduated school, I guess I don't remember learning it. And Maldives? Uh, I don't know. Syria? Next one, please. Syria. Uh, Palestine? I guess we're just gonna throw that in there. That's fine. Bhutan? Lebanon? It's so weird to think that all the, like, a, a whole bunch of the Middle Eastern Arabic speaking countries are considered part of Asia, but I guess it makes sense. Like Asia's huge. Malaysia. Cambodia. Jordan. Uzbekistan. All right, so we got this one. I have no idea what that is trying to tell me, but if we can figure it out, the next one is also the same. Uh, did we, we did Laos. Okay, so this is like a D. And the door, Jor oh, Georgia, Georgia. Okay, and then this is J Japan. Aha! Chat, we're gonna get this one, I think. And this is R Reese? Rus? Russia? Really? Oh my gosh, and this is Bangladesh then. Nice, 100%. Again, though, that's more about your knowledge of phonetic spelling than anything else. All right, so we'll do one more. Uh, not a word ladder, like a fun one. Can you match the parts of these names of movies? Nope. Can you name the things that satisfy each category for the period from 1920? Come on. Can you name? Nope. Another word ladder. Can I name the top 10 oat producing U.S. states? Nope. No. God, I want to do a good one to finish this off. Logic puzzle. Can you pick the letters to fill in the blanks to create the na names of breeds of dogs? I don't know. All right, here we go. Can you pick the correct words to complete these song titles? We have a minute and a half to do 16. Light my fire. You light up my life. Paradise by the dashboard light. The night the lights went out in uh, Georgia. In the house of something, I don't know. Blank by the light, blinded by the light. I know that from uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Something of light. Uh, I don't know. Something light. Uh, oh, neon lights. Blank all the lights. Dim all the lights. Dark. Dark horse. Katy Perry. Dark lady by Cher. On the dark side. Blank in the dark. Dancing in the dark. Promises in the dark. Something in the dark. Blank out, coming out of the dark. In the house of stone and light. Ray of light. 
piano in the dark all right 100 percent. that was awesome uh thanks everybody i know this was a bit of a short kind of weird stream again a little bit scuffed due to the lack of uh sound clips and other things but you know it's tuesday things get weird here it's more of a like like a rest day basically so we're gonna send you guys over to Ice King, who was just in here. He started up his, uh, wait, is he not streaming? What the heck's going on? Hold on, let me refresh. Make sure he's actually streaming before I send you guys his way. He is, oh, he's not streaming tonight. That's weird. Um, I guess we'll go check in on Gandalf. He's doing more Subnautica tonight, so. Thanks everybody for coming out. If you stuck around to the end, I know that was, like I said, it was a little weird, but. Alien should be back next week, so hopefully we'll get some some weirdness going, and I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow for Surviving Mars.